So good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Glenn Davis, and today I'm about to demonstrate on the proper way to shoot a free throw. All right, so it says free throws, go on, make them, they're free. So basically, three key elements to being a good free throw shooter is focus, concentrate, and a whole bunch of practice. So the step one is beef. I know what you're, some of y'all are thinking, you mean like the food that you eat. Nah, it's a uh, balance of both eyes and follow through. So balance is you have, if you're right-handed, you shoot, you have your right foot pointing towards the basket. If you're left-handed, you have your right foot pointing towards the basket. And your elbow is in an L position, which is slightly close to the side of your body. Your elbow is straight, and whichever your shooting hand is, you have that one on the back of the ball. You have your fingertips spread, so it allows a back spin on it. And your opposite hand is used as your guide hand. So your eyes are focused on the front of the rim. You never want to look at the back of the rim, because you think you would hit, you'd be focused on the back of the rim, but you want to be focused on the front of the rim. So follow through is once the ball leaves your hand, you want to have your hand pointing, have your fingertips pointing towards the front of the basket. So step two is step up to the free throw line. What you do, you step up to the free throw line, and then you do your normal routine. I know some players, uh, like Kevin Durant, he shows his shoulders before he does it. Uh, Kobe Bryant, he wipes sweat off his hands before he does his routine. Um, I know some two unique players that I've seen free throw shooters. There's uh, Gilbert Arenas, because he bring the ball behind his back three times. And uh, Richard Hamilton, he does the ball three times in front of him. Then one time on the left side. I guess that's just part of their routine. So when I uh, pay attention to your shooting leg hand, what that means, what your shooting leg hand is, if you're right-handed, you have your right foot even towards the basket. If you're left-handed, you have your left foot even towards the basket. So it's just shoulder to shoulder width apart. That helps maintain the balance. All right, uh, also have your feet pointing towards the front of the basket. So that means your body is even with the basket. And you never want to be too far on your tiptoes because you will fall forward. And you never want to be too far on the back of your heels because you will fall backwards. All right, step four is bring your knees slightly. As you can tell in the picture, uh, Carmelo Anthony, he has his knees bent slightly. He has his eyes focused on the front of the rim. He has his, he has his arm in the L position. He has his right hand on the back of the ball. He has his left hand on the side of the ball. He beat at his guide hand. All right, the final product is when you finish everything, when you shoot it like that, you be a little bit on your tiptoes. You have your, you have your fingertips pointed towards the front of the basket. Then you tell in the picture how Kobe has his hands pointed towards the basket, Ray Allen pointed, and how LeBron James. So what you should get is you should get a final swoosh when you hit nothing but net, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> and that's it for my presentation. Thank y'all for coming today.